Paris. I confess. First reading, a reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 18, verses 9 and 14, 24 to 25, 13 to chapter 19, verse 3. Absalom had been to run in the time of David's followers. Absalom was riding a moon, and the moon passed under the thick branches of a great oak. Absalom's head caught fast in the oak, and he was left hanging between heaven and earth, while the moon was writing went on. Someone saw this and told you all, I have just seen Absalom, he said, hanging from the oak. And Job took three lenses in his hand and thrust them into Absalom's heart while he was still alive there in the oak tree. David was sitting between the two gates. The lookout had gone up to the roof of the gate. On the ramparts, he looked up and saw a man running all by himself. The words called out to the king and told him. The king said, move aside and stand there. He moved aside and stood waiting. Then the casket arrived. Good news for my lord the king, <coughs> cried the casket. The Lord has vindicated your cause today by writing you off all who rebel against you. Is all well with John Absalom? The king asked the casket. May the enemies of my lord the king, the casket answer, and all who rebel against you to your heart, share the Lord of that young man. The king said there. He went up to the room <coughs> over the gate and burst into tears and weeping said, My son of Solomon, my son, my son of Solomon, would I have died in your place, of Solomon, my son, my son? What was brought to you? The king is now weeping and mourning for Absalom. And the day's victory was turned to mourning for all the troops, because they learned that the king was grieving for his son. And the troops returned steadily that day to the town, as through Kripek, Ashim when rooted in battle. The word of the Lord. Respond, sorry, son, response. Turn your ear, O Lord, 
and give answer. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. Response. As you are my God, have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift up my soul. Response. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give it, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the song of my voice. Response. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
says, said, O oh, Lord, be help of theirs. And he said to the official, Do not be afraid, only have faith. And he allowed no one to go with him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. So they came to the official's house, and Jesus heard his old commotion with people weeping and wailing and restraining. He went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and crying? The child is not dead, not dead but asleep. But they laughed at him. So they, he turned to them all of them, taking with him a child's father and mother and his own companions. He went into the place where the child is. And taking the child by the hand, he said to her, Daridabu, which means little girl, I tell you to get up. The little girl got up at once and began to walk. Began to walk about, for she was twelve years old. At this, they were overcome with astonishment, and he ordered them strictly not to let anyone know about it, and told them, to give her something to eat. <coughs> the Holy Gospel of the Lord. Sincerely and humbly for 
his sins and weakness. So he could say the prayers from the bottom of his heart. Lord, if you should mark my guilt, who could survive? Mea culpa, mea culpa, misere nobis. The prayer of David becomes the best penitential prayer now for you and for me. David's goodness still continues. He will be second Samuel chapter 9. His goodness, his gratitude reflects in that chapter. He said to himself, is there any survivor of Saul's house to whom I may show kindness for the sake of Jonathan, my prayer? Mary vowed, Jonathan's son, a people of good legs, now to whom David gave his kindness, his generosity, his gratitude on behalf of his father and turn his grandfather's soul's property back to death, crippled son of Jonathan, Meribah, Meribah. <coughs> now David if let him stay in Jerusalem. He let him enjoy the dignity of the kingly life in the royal palace. That is David's gratitude. David indeed becomes the champion of love, the champion of mercy, the champion of kindness and compassion. Jesus, the son of David, son of God and son of man, began his redeeming work by proclaiming the good news, the joy of the gospel, <coughs> by loving, by healing the sick people. My dear brother priest, here we reflect the meaning of prayer and the nature of prayer. What is prayer? Today, the conquering faith and the expectant faith that could be seen in Cyrus and the Bidding Woman. So indeed, the prayer is not a simple conversation anymore. Being with the law, a struggle hand to hand with God. I will, let, I will not let you go until you bless me. Today I have seen God face to face. Genesis chapter 32. Haniel. Jacob's experience of God in his life is the best friend for us still. Today. Today we consider prayer as a struggle of faith and a victory of perseverance. The mysterious hand-to-hand -hand struggle between God and Jacob announces something of what we can now see in the bleeding woman <coughs> and Cyrus in the gospel. Leading women, women with intense faith. Zyrus, a humble official, knelt down before the Lord to obtain help for his son. So, my dear brothers, you hear prayer requires total trust, intimate closeness in a symbolic hand to hand with God as in the woman who was subject to bleeding, who says to herself, if I could touch the hand of the Lord, I will be healed. 
In the battle of our faith implies the strength of the soul, perseverance before we obtain the mercy of God and His loving kindness in our life. So before that, we have to recognize in, in, in interiorly our own weakness, our own incapacity for our own self. <laughs> then surrendering ourselves totally into the masterful hands of God. Then only we will hear the same word by Christ who says to these two very important figures, the bleeding woman and Cyrus. Your faith has said do <clears throat> what we all want to hear is this answer from the Lord. My dear brothers, in the past activities, in the daily life, when nobody listens to us anymore, when we can no longer ask help from anyone, when our problems seem beyond our strength, all our hopes are gone. Such was the situation with Cyrus and the bleeding woman. Here God comes. God is ruling. God listen, Lord. God still listens to you and to me. He is always ready to help us if we approach with conquering faith and expectant faith and in confidence in the Lord. So Jesus' healing power is proclaimed and seen through the healing suffering of the afflicted woman. Through Jesus' healing power, the divinity of Christ became known. Through the afflicted woman's obeying faith and being healed, her faith was made manifest. There is a witness, a model for you and for me. Here we see Jesus' personal concern for the needs of the people, for you and for me, and his readiness to heal and restore our life. Let us read this. So now, a question for our life. Do we approach the Lord with confident hope and expectant faith in any situation? That will be a question for ourselves. So if we approach with a confident hope and expectant and conquering faith, then the Lord will hear our request and grant it. If we do so, the Lord Jesus will touch each and every one of us with his healing hands of love and mercy, then we may give ourselves totally in loving service to the people of God in turn who is entrusted to you and to me.
we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up to our hearts. We live up to the Lord. We thank the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just as you keep the salvation always and everywhere to give to thanks, Father most holy. Through the beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the Word through whom to make all things, whom to send as a Savior, Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling the world and gaining for the Holy People, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to bring the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and the scholars saying, we declare to our glory as to one voice we are saying. <coughs> In a similar way, once the Lord was ascended into the clouds and once more in hands, he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the palace of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be more of a human for men, for the forgiveness of this, who is in memory. Only by the 
deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of the mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the most, Peace I give to you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the pay of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us come on under the sign of peace.
pray, O Lord, that through his help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who put the masses and the Lord.